Hi all. In this video, we will understand creation of user-defined file formats using SQL Server. For this, here we are using XP underscore CMD shell tour procedure. Here, this tour procedure triggers the Windows command shell and passes in a string for execution. The output is determined by this SQL is rows of text. And required input parameters for this procedure is one is command string. It is nothing but a string and it contains a command to be passed to the operating system. And here we are using the data type as varchar with 8000 characters length and nvarchar as 4000. For this, we can't use max length. For this tour procedure, mainly we can use two command utilities one is echo and another one is bcp command echo is used to get string related outputs and we can copy that string related output into a text file or any user defined file formats and next one is bcp bcp copies bulk data between sql server and a data file here also we can give the data file format as user defined one and to connect to SQL Server, we have to pass relevant arguments to BCP command. For this, mainly we have to pass minus "-t", argument. Here, this argument is used to connect the BCP utility to SQL Server with a trusted connection using integrated security. So, we no need to pass login ID and password. If we are not giving minus "-t", command, then we have to specify minus "-u", and minus "-p", arguments these are for user id and password which are used to connect to sql server and now we will see how echo and bcp commands works in sql server first one is echo here it is used to display now i will run a query in sql server here in the sql server I have already queried that here this is a query this query is used to display an output high I am executing this query here it returns commands computed successfully here we have given another parameter no output if we give this no output parameter this echo will not display any result here if you remove this it will display high high and we can copy this output to a file for this i am giving here i am giving the path to c drive here the output is null so in c drive the text.txt file will be created with the content high in C drive here the file is created 414 just now here the content is high and if you want to append any text to existing file we have to give double red design now the text will append to an existing text file here I am executing this query now another high is appended to this text file if I remove this greater than then it will erase existing data in the text file and create a new content so I have executed the SQL now we can see only single high so it will completely erase the existing content and override with a new one this is the new if you want to create a file with a different lines here we have to give like here this is the single command and for the next one I am giving an ampersand and echo and the required string 
Here I'm giving the string as and appending characters with the existing file location path. I'm exiting this query. So it will create it will create a text.txt file with the two lines. In first line we will have hi, hi and in second line we will have gunnala. Here is the output hi gunnala. And next utility is BCP. Using this utility we can create user defined files from SQL Server select statements. Here I am giving an example. I am declaring a variable with the length 200. I am assigning some string to this variable. Here I will insert this text into a text file without changing this text format means in the file the text will be inserted like this is used to create is in the first line and this is in the second line. Using echo we can't create files using this to load this kind of data means in echo we can insert a single line at a time. We can't insert multiple lines of code into a single file. For that we have to use bcp command. Using bcp utility we can insert multiple lines of code into a single text file. And next I am inserting this variable data into a global, global table. Here the global temp table is hash hash temp from select cmd command. I am giving the alias name as temp. Here using this the select statement, the string which is assigned to cmd will be loaded into this temp table under the column as temp. Here select star from temp. I am executing this equal. Here I have get get an output like this is used to create text files from SQL statements. Now I am writing a BCP utility execute master xp underscore command shell I am giving the bcp under a single quote and here I am giving the select statement select temp from global temporary variable that is temp and an argument for bcp that is query out for BCP we have mainly three arguments, one is in, out and query out. And I am giving the text file path in C drive. As sample.txt And I am passing two arguments, one is minus C and minus T is used for a trusted connection using integrated security and minus t sorry minus c is used to copy single character at a time into a text file once you execute this command in c the sample dot text file will be created with the above content with this content here i am executing the sql 
here the output is like starting copy one row is copied network packs says if we go into the c drive the sample file is created with the two lines of code this is an advantage over echo command using echo we can't create multiple lines of code into a single file thank you